this is just a little update. Um, playing my system. I keep blowing fuses. Voltage dropped down to like 10.7. But I'm not sure what it is. I charged up my batteries. Uh, it's been charged for three days. This is what it's sitting at right now. Sit and charge. As you can see, I have one positive, negative, some positive, two watt cable taped off. It's not hooked up, nothing from the alternator. 3D3100s. A Fluke 113 True RMS multimeter. And if you notice, charger is on it, but go down to the charger and the charger is off the charger is off as you can see it's been on two amps charged for three days uh, so I'm gonna start it up put it on hold so, charger two amps see the voltmeter reads uh, turn the light back on man. 12 9 9 13 now I'm gonna spike it a little bit I had a five exchange just in case so I'm gonna spike this at 10 amps once again See what happens. Fourteen, three, four, and rising. Now I'm going to real. I'm going to spike it real high. So don't judge me. Forty amps. See what happens. Sixteen volts. Gotcha. One more spike, then that's it. Engine start. Sixteen four four, and that's it. <laughs> Back to two amps. Do not want to cook these expensive, awesome excess power batteries. The voltage is back at a, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's at a charge at two amps. Batteries are still. I want to check these cells. You know, I always want to make sure my shit is straight. Yes, the wire looks a little crazy, but I will explain it in a second. One, two watt welding wire coming from the first battery to the second battery bank. I will change that, run it straight off the alternator, and come back. Shock wire, one watt. That's my ground. From under the seat, from the belt buckle loop here. Cadence, eight gauge wire for the DCXL subs. Series at the says parallel at the amp. Also, um, find it, find it, find it. Okay, right here. Number two wire, not two gauge, but number two. That is for my DC 175 4 amp, and that is for positive and negative. And that'll be all. Thanks. Trauma setters.